Welcome back. Megan with the SPCA has brought such a cute little friend with us. So uh, what's her name? Her name's Coletta. Coletta? And we named her that because um, she looks like one of the people off Phantom of the Opera. And so oh. With the black face. You know what? That, that Yes. Yeah. Uh, the mask. She's got yeah, a little mask on. She has the mask. Um, <laughs> so she's about 10 weeks old. Um, very much puppy, as you can see. Uh, she yes. loves to play right now. She does love to play. She's got, <laughs> she's got, she's still, she's teething a little bit. I can tell. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's got sharp little puppy teeth. Oh, in there. but she. Oh, ooh, that. <laughs> hey, girl. Oh my gosh. And she's so she's so feisty and she's so lovable. Uh, how did you guys uh, get get her? So we got her um, from an owner that needed to surrender her. Um, person was too young. Mm -hmm. The. Um, and someone gave her the puppy and she can no longer take care of it and, right. and go to school and work at the same time. So she's in our care now and she actually is waiting for a foster she, home as well. And she so, saw herself on TV yeah. too. <laughs> Ain't that right? Yeah. yeah. She's what? like, oh yeah, she's definitely teething. I see you. But she's a big old snuggle bug as well. So oh, she's, um, she's so cute. Now, uh, she's, she's young and I know uh, some of the dogs that have been brought on as well as cats are young. Uh, do y'all see a whole lot of young dogs being brought in? Oh yeah, right now it's not just one puppy or two. Mm -hmm. um, in most cases, it's, it's, it's litters. And so wow. right now we're dealing with a whole bunch of litters that people are finding on the sides of the roads or people have abandoned them and then they were found and so um, right now we're we're desperate for fosters to help out with that right and, and uh, to get into the foster process what what do you guys specifically do you all look at the home in terms of uh, you know if the dog has a yard to, to run around in or, or how do you all yeah. set that up yards are always great we we like them to have space to run and play that helps them behave a little better when they can run out some energy but um, a lot of the fosters, all we look for is um, a loving home that will, you know, love them and feed them and, and bring them to our events and then we will take care of the rest, such as food and bedding. And so, um, it's, fosters are a big part of what we do. <laughs> she's so playful she and is. she's got a cute little tail too. Yeah. It's just a cute little nubby tail. Know, we don't know what kind oh, of dog she, she look is, at that. She's just a wiggle. a large breed. So. <laughs> and if people want to get out and, and volunteer, do y'all have any upcoming events or if they want to meet the, the, the dogs, what well, all do y'all have coming up? Um, next week, um, November the 8th, we have our pooches on the patio okay. um, at Lola's and Tyler. And so um, that's a good event to come to if you want to, you know, try to figure out what our program's about right. and also play with some puppies. Play so. with some puppies because <laughs> it's always fun to play with puppies. It is. Uh, and if my uh, boss is listening, I think that we should adopt a puppy for the newsroom. Yes, yeah, I agree. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out. I really Thank appreciate you. it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be right back. Stay with us.